It's your boy Grove here back with another video and today I got started with you guys man today we're gonna be checking out the Broly. Uh, I don't even know what to call him. Is it like the Fury Broly? I honestly don't know what type of formation form he is in this one, but we're gonna rock him double Zenkai best bench with the um the green Broly and the green Super Saiyan 3 Goku, and I'm also rocking Piccolo. Now, you guys might be asking why are you rocking Piccolo on this like movie is team. I tried to rock this team with the movies Goku. Um, I was in a huge losing streak. I think I lost like eight to ten matches in a row because that everybody was bringing bring double purple and like that Goku just couldn't do the damage, right? So I'm like, all right, I gotta bring up the Namekian God. I gotta bring up LL Piccolo, bro. I gotta bring them because um, and everybody's bringing double purples. Right, because they've seen like the, my team set up, and I just need a strong yellow, so I have to bring Piccolo. I'm sorry, but Piccolo's just that boy, right? So I'm rocking Piccolo. This Broly is really amazing, bro. The, every time he gets hit, like by certain cards, he gets stronger, just kind of like in the anime, I mean, or in the movie, where every time he was getting beat down, right? Like this guy was getting stronger, right? So um, his blue card does crazy damage. He has a lot, a lot of ways of getting crazy blue card damage, and we're gonna be rocking him with like Goku or Arrow Revival Gohan, depending on who we need, but. I'm also I'm probably going to be bringing Piccolo every single time. So, yeah, we're facing up against uh, GT, I believe. Is it GT? Or, yeah, it's GT, but they have the Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Vegeta duo as their leader slot, which is really good, bro. Like, he probably doesn't have the GT Goku, uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku. So, having him as your leader is really, really good. I think this Goku is probably going to be the best leader that we have now. Um, just the fact that you have to kind of bring green and yellow against them because if you bring like a yellow yellow blue all they have to do is stay in with vegeta and they do extra damage to yellow if you bring in you know green green you know green green something else green green red or something it just can stay with this goku do extra damage so it's really tricky uh facing up with this is goku you kind of have to bring green and yellow because to counteract both of the uh the cards right so rocking um broly right here just trying to see how much damage he's doing um, look at the damage he's doing against Ooh is really good. So I just popped the blue card just to see how much he can do. And I just like that like scene where he's like right next to him and then he hits him like that. Like I like that so much. I like that animation. It's amazing. So I popped the main because just in case Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta comes in, I can notify his special cover change. And right here I kind of combo drop. I believe it. Yeah, I combo drop right here. Expecting I'm expecting I was expecting Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta to come in, but he didn't switch. So I don't think he was expecting me to cover to uh, combo drop so right now i'm just trying to kill what's the name i'm just trying to kill super saiyan 4 gogeta but right now i think he's trying to switch to vegeta so he can do extra damage to piccolo because piccolo is 14 stars right he's trying to kill him and i have mad uh health but i rushed him right so i'm like all right man i think piccolo is gonna at least bring pick this guy down to really really low health so i can just focus on gogeta we didn't get guests here now, I'm trying to see if I do extra damage, which I do, because remember, we can have Green Broly. Just because he takes less damage from Piccolo, he's going to take more damage from Green Broly in the rush, right? Since we landed our rush, Green Broly was able to help us out with that blue card, and he also does extra damage to Saiyans, right? So, Green Broly came in clutch at, as, like, the back burner for that rush that was able to kill him off. So, now here, I see him doing that. That's why I kind of tap and wait a little bit, because I knew he was going to try to, like, do another attack, so I was waiting for him to making attacks so i switched to go cool but i was not expecting him to use his rush but i'll take it bro and yeah i was trying to like pop the blue card instantly so i could get rid of his vanish but he just popped the blue card instantly i popped piccolo's main so i could destroy his cards and i just went instantly um i was kind of in a bad spot right here i was like dang like he he still has his rush and everything but um he just waited because like i said piccolo destroyed all his cards and i think he was just trying to like kill piccolo with that and then save his rush he was just trying to be greedy and try to just risk it just to get more like just to get more damage and stuff from uh piccolo i mean I, like you know against our, my team right because it was 3v1 if he was to land at all that would be really good but i got a uh, a red slot on that one equipment it's okay but next match we're facing up against future so this team has double endurance future Han, and you have um yeah, the super saint. You have the sort of hope trunks, and then you just have this. Um, you have this Vegeta. I mean, this um, super saint blue Goku and Vegeta, uh, Vegeta. That's just amazing. Like this is really annoying to deal with. Like I said, I gotta stay. 
I gotta stay like uh, locked in with like his whenever whenever he switches. I gotta make sure that I'm going into Broly, Broly every time he goes into um, Vegeta. Every time he goes to Goku, I gotta go into what's his name. So um, we're gonna just so we're just chilling here. All right, I go to Goku because Goku does extra damage to both the Gohan and the Trunks, right? Because he Goku does extra damage to hybrids. So I'm just chilling here. I'm just trying to what's his name? Just trying to. Um, just trying to combo, right? Trying to combo, make sure I, I lower my sub counts from my other guys and everything. Because it's going to be a long battle. Dealing with two units that has endurance is going to be really annoying. So I sidestep because I knew that if I was to strike, he was going to he was gonna be ready to sidestep out of there. But it still got me in the um, PV, uh, which kind of sucks, right? I'm not trying to get hit. And look at the damage the Trunks is doing to Piccolo, bro. I know Piccolo not on his best setup, right? He's not double Zenkai buff. He doesn't have his peer equips. But that's still crazy. Like, that's still a lot of damage, bro. Like, dang. Like, look at the damage he's doing to him, bro. That's like 70% of his health right there. So, had to go to Broly to tank this. Um, Broly with the double Zenkai buff does look really, really impressive. Like, you can definitely tell. Like, even at four stars. Like, remember, this, this Broly's at four stars, bro. If you have her, like, highest, like, minimum six stars or seven stars because you pull him twice. This guy is just amazing. And the fact that I'm double Zenkai kind of buff, he's going to be a lot more tanky and all that stuff. So I tried to initiate on him, but he did pop his main and pop his old carcass at Blast Thumb. So that was a really good play by him. But like I said, I'm just trying to bait him out. And I did the strike thing because I know he was going for the PB. So once I did the strike thing, I kind of like strike canceled. He was going to cancel out, and I knew I could do that. So I popped the blue right there, trying to see if I could kill him. But he did switch to the Goku, and I'm just trying to save... I'm just trying to get, I'm just trying to catch him lacking, bro. I'm just trying to catch him lacking. I sidestepped, and I was waiting for him. I thought he was going to, like, wait for a little bit, but he, he actually countered against me. So I have a lot of blue cards in my hand because I have two units that has endurance on his team, right? And, um, but I forgot, like, it's like someone with Trunks' thing where if he takes damage, he reduces your key or something. I think, I don't know if it's, with, I don't know about his unique ability. I didn't really read his kit, but he reduces my key. And that messed me up. I was like, yeah, I'm about to pop a blue card already. But no, he just reduces my key, which caught me by surprise. And I could have killed both either the future Han or the future or the Soul of Hope Trunks. But instead, I did kill, well, at least I killed one of his units. So that was a big plus for me. And he goes there and attacks. So Goku is tanking this really good. Because of the banner, I was able to get Goku up to two more stars. I had him at nine stars. Now he's at 11. So he's going to tank a little bit better now, which is really dope. And yeah, I'm just trying to hurry up and use all the blast cards before uh, sort of hope trunks comes in, but it doesn't happen. So what I do here is pop the main because every time Broly does a strike card, he gets card draw speed. So I'm, I'm really relying on Broly just to pop his first life before um, what's name comes in. But I don't think I, I'm able to do it yet because I didn't get enough key. And yeah, so he has a sliver of health right there and his first life. I was trying to pop his first life, but Look at the damage he's doing. He's doing the same damage. The Trunks is insane. And then, yeah, so if he does go with a crazy attack, I have to take it with Goku because I need Piccolo. Just good, just in case I can make some good plays, like I said, killing Endurance with the blue card, all that stuff. So I'm chilling here, waiting to see what he does. And he catched me there. I should have just probably waited and just stayed ready with my strike card just in case he tackled. And then I did have a blue card just in case as well, but... He got me there. Like I said, I'm not trying to kill Bro Broly off. But I switched to Broly. I thought Broly can tank that damage for a little bit. And then I could switch to Goku. But he just low stars, right? So I'm chilling here. I tackle. I knew he was going to do that. So I see him sidestep. Right? I pop the blue card just in case he switches. I can nullify endurance with Piccolo's blue card. If I love Piccolo, Blast Armor. So now we just got to do it with one unit left. So I switched to Goku. And all I'm trying to do is just to bait him out with uh with his with a uh, with a vanish. But if he was to vanish there, I would have picked a little blue card and I would have been game. But yeah, we got the dub right there. I didn't want Broly to die, but hey, he died. He did his thing though, right? So dealing with two endurance units and an amazing unit like Super Saiyan Blue Goku Vegeta, it was insane. So next match, facing up a purple purple red. I think this is a real. This is probably the last match. I think this is the last match. This match was really really good. But this all came down to stars. Um, this you guys won't see the last the last like um, sequence that happened, but it all came down to stars. If I had a certain unit at more stars, I would have won the game. But yeah, so we're facing the purple, purple, red, right? So Piccolo, 
I have to, I have to, Piccolo has to, like, I can't let Piccolo die, right? If Piccolo dies, then there's no way I'm going to win this game, right? He, he has purple, he has double purples to counter against Broly. And then I'm not scared to sell first life, especially um, if he does rush, like, he's not going to kill Goku with, without him transforming. So if he does rush with someone, like, with Merza Monster or, or Cell, then Piccolo can tank it. So I'm not really that too worried about Rise of Rush. The only thing I'm, I'm scared about is if he catches me out of rotation. So he catches me there. He's able to combo with the blue card. Look at the damage that I did. That was really impressive. Not going to lie. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get just my Dragon Ball so I can just be ready for a rush against this guy. Um, I'm not trying to rush the Cell. I'm trying. I guess the person I was trying to rush is Merzimasu or the Purple Cell, not the Revival Cell. Because like I said, I'm not, I'm not scared of Revival Cell at all. So, and I'm trying to kill the purple units so I can showcase this Broly, right? That's my thing. Um, I could probably win if I didn't bring Broly. I could have just did a purple, yellow, blue team. That's what I probably would have done if I wasn't showcasing them. But, you know what I'm saying? I'm showcasing them, right? So, yeah. But chilling here. Broly, I'm just trying to see what Broly's damage can do. I guess this is a monster. Just, he's taking no damage, like, at all. So, I'm like, dang, you know? So, I'm chilling here. Trying to see what he does. He caught me right there. I thought he was going to go for a tackle. That's why I was sidestepping, uh, like moving backwards. But no. So I switched to Piccolo. I'm like, he's not taking no damage from him. Look at his blast damage. Like, Piccolo's eating this, bro. Like, it was, it was, it was, it was pretty hilarious. So I think I'm trying to do is tap. And I'm just pleading that the game lets me tap. Because I don't want him to land a combo on me. So I did land a tap right there. I was really happy. And what I'm trying to do is... I'm trying to get, uh, I'm trying to get cell, try to pop cells first life. That's all I'm trying to do. But so I go up here and I tap once again, and he does not kill at all. So I'm like, dang, like this is insane. Like, <laughs> and then he catch me there. So, but then the, the, the weird thing is the game freezes. I don't know what happened right there, but I didn't know what to do. Like the game just froze, and actually now I see him rushing uh, Goku. So I'm like, dang. Uh, let me pick green. Um, I missed it. So. Yeah, that was pretty bad right there. And, yeah, so I was kind of, I was, like, pretty frustrated about that happening. But I wasn't too worried, right, because, like I said, the Cell is at his first life still. So he's not going to do that crazy damage to Piccolo if he does land a combo. He needs to be in the second life for him to do that crazy. But I popped the blue card right there against the Cell because he, he just used everybody's rotation type time accounts, sub counts. So I was able to one-shot Cell. And then just um, I'm just trying to deal with Zamasu now. So I catch him. I thought I catch him there, but he sidesteps. And like I said, if he goes to Cell, Cell's not gonna do that much damage because he's not in his first life. So I'm kind of glad that I didn't pop his first life because if I'd have went to Cell, if I'd have popped for Cell second life, he would have like one combo Piccolo. He would have one combo to Broly. So I'm actually kind of glad that um, that didn't happen. But I did sidestep right there. I go to Broly, and yeah, pop his first life. And yeah, so I'm like, all right, I have my rush. Um, if I kill this, if I kill the cell with my rush, then I win the game. So I'm surprised he didn't sidestep. That was a smart play by him doing that. So I sidestep here. So I see him bottom of the blue. I'm like, all right, I'm chilling here, and I'm about to use my rush. And I'm like, all right, I'm finna use my rush right here, but I'm finna go to Piccolo instead because Piccolo could kill a red cell. But the smart thing he did is he swapped out of cell. And he went to Zamasu to take the damage, right? Because if Zamasu does tank it, does guess it, then um, he's actually that's he's actually that's actually like a huge plus on his side. But he does die, and that was really good for me. But the problem is, is Broly has ten time accounts left, so I have to kind of buy time for for that much time accounts. But the thing is, I pop my main, and he also has a you know he has his main ability where he can get the blue card. And for some reason, he was able to get three more cards. He was able to use three cards after I popped my main. That was, like, insane to me. But right here, I thought I was going to one-shot. If I had more stars on Broly, this would have been game. But look at the stars. Look at that. I tapped him there. So I'm trying to initiate. And what I should have did was sidestep immediately. But he got me in a combo right there. So, yeah, um, I lost this match. But it was a really good match. It just shows that you do need stars to win this game sometimes. And that got me right there. But, yeah, overall, this Broly did really amazing. His blue card is amazing. This guy is going to be a beast on the movies team. This guy is going to be hes gonna be so hard to deal with, especially since he can notify a special cover change with his main. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and my girl, man. And I'm out.